Welcome to First Taste TV. And today our featured partners are Nardone Brothers and Sun Butter. I cannot wait to try what they have to give us. That's because you're always hungry. That's right, but first, the ICN resource of the day. Food Allergies for School Nutrition Managers and Staff is an in-depth training on managing food allergies. Food allergy management personnel who take this course will create an outline of a food allergy management plan or have an opportunity to strengthen their existing plan. This course includes information about food allergies, food intolerances, reading food labels, avoiding cross-contact, accommodating students with food allergies, laws regarding food allergies, and educating the community about food allergies. Brought to you by the Institute of Child Nutrition. Amanda. Hey, I'm, buddy, what's up? Uh, I'm at Nardone's. Where are you? No, I, I told you this. I can't come. You're gonna be great. Don't worry. Nardone Brothers. What's there not to love? It's wait. Gonna be excellent. Wait. Hold on a second. So if you're not gonna be here, that means I can do <laughs> whatever I want. Oh no. Oh yes. We'll talk later. Bye. Wait. wait Bye. No. I'm getting my fanny pack. Bree! Bree! Bring my fanny pack! So we are here at Nardone's Brother Pizza, and as you can see, we have the entire family here. So, so let's get to know them all. What do you do? Hi, I'm Anthony Nardone. I'm the son of Vincent Nardone. I'm part of the fourth generation. Hi, I'm Miranda Nardone. I'm the daughter of Vincent Nardone, and I'm also part of the fourth generation. Hi, uh, I'm Zay Nardone. I'm also part of the fourth generation, and I'm the son of Mario Nardone. Uh, son of Frank Nardone, part of the fourth generation, and I'm Nicholas Nardone. Hi, I'm Vince Nardone, one of the uh, partners. Hi, I'm Mario Nardone. I'm one of the partners and Zane's father. Hi, I'm Michael Nardone. I'm the chief financial officer. Um, hi, I'm Michael Nardone. I'm fourth generation. I'm related through Michael as well, and I do bookkeeping here. Hi, I'm also Vince Nardone, not to make any more confusion. Uh, obviously, the son of Vince Nardone as well, and I, I run our sales team. I'm Tom Nardone, I'm a partner, and these are all my relatives. <laughs> <laughs> so Tom, we have lots of generations going on here. Can you give us some history about Nardone? How did you guys get started? When did you get started? Uh, all that good stuff. Well, our grandparents came over from Italy okay. and um, started making bread, and pizza was kind of like an afterthought. Then supermarkets, as supermarkets became uh, more prevalent, we sold our pizza which we used to make at the end of the day with the leftover dough um, to the supermarkets and picked up some local supermarket chains and then that slowly evolved into school lunch, which is our mainstay now. So you guys started with bread, went to pizza, and you guys are in retail and schools right now, correct? That's correct, yes. Okay, and schools across the country? Uh, throughout the country, yes. That's awesome. So I would love to see how you guys make your pizza. Can you get a tour? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, so this is way too complicated for me. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I want to drive this thing. We had to fire it up. Peace. Oh, wait, you know, they're in my fanny pack. Boom. What do I do? OK, so would this job include like crunching numbers and paying bills and that sort of thing? Yeah. So this job is clearly not for me. All right. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> so Mario, where are we? Right now we're in the mixing section. So all the ingredients are outside. They're fed into the mixing se section automatically. I'm going to take notes. Do you mind? I got, I got my, my notepad in here, my fanny pack. <laughs> this is my Nardone's notebook. Sorry, proceed. <laughs> well, our crust is all natural. We don't use any pre preservatives or additives. It's just basically flour, water, salt, uh, sugar, and yeast, and oil. Anything else you want to add, Vinny? I just want to say that this is all brand new for us, this whole facility. Uh, we just completed in 2018, so we're really proud of it and the new capabilities that we have. That's why all of our customers have seen such a huge uptick in quality from previous years and the last couple of years now, because we just have, frankly, technology that, that other people don't have right now that are really proud of and all constantly innovating new products. That's great. So now I'm hungry. 
So now can we go eat some, some pizza? Let's do it. All right, let's eat some pizza. <laughs> so here we are. My favorite part of the day, it's time to eat. What, what do we got here? So you're lucky. We just cooked up some brand new fresh pizza right now that I'm gonna have you try. Is that IW? It does come available in IW. Um, we have it available in a three by five and a four inch bagel. Right now it's on a 12 inch self-rising crust. IW like this? <laughs> exactly like that Straight actually. Straight from the fanny pack. Well, it's a good thing that you brought it with you. It's a good thing. All right, let's, let's taste it. So tell me about this pizza while I'm eating it. So right now, the one that you're tasting right now is gonna be a 12 inch self-rising crust breakfast pizza. It's got yellow cheesy sauce on it, scrambled egg, bacon, and sausage. Um, and it does meet all of the nutritional requirements that you might want it to meet. I'm undone eating, just keep talking. Say something else. So right now. <laughs> <laughs> so right now what's kind of unique about us is that we do produce over 450 different kinds of pizza. So as you can see, we have a, a wide range of, of bulk and wrapped options. Uh, you see on the front, we have a lot of wrapped options available in our own logoing. We also have great oven bowl boxes as well too. So this is actually an oven bowl box uh, that you could use. Pizza will already come prepackaged in the box. Like so, top rips off and you could serve it uh, to the students, which is a really great option, especially for grab and go in, in this COVID environment, um, as well as all of our oven bowl wrapped options as well too. So what else you got? So the next pizza I'm gonna show you right now is gonna be a 16 inch round. The placement of the pepperoni you see right now, is it's extremely uniform. Nothing ever shifts around during our cooking process or our shipping process. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a, a frozen pizza and I'm going to show you uh, how that stays in place. So, how do you plan on doing that? Well, I'm just going to have to uh, put it on top of your head. So Like for real on top of my head? For real on top of your head. I'm, I'm trusting you. You're going to hold it upside down and put it on top of my well, head. Well, that's what Zane's going to do right now. So, <laughs> All right, Zane. So as you can see. <laughs> no, did I have pepperonis on my head? Am I good? You're good. You have a lack All right. of pepperoni over there. All right, cool. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. So that's really great. You can see right now, even after shaking it around, I mean, all the pizza, the pepperoni stays extremely uniform. You see during the entire process, there's always two pieces of pepperoni and then a single one down here. And there's also like little spaces in between too. So it kind of shows you where to cut it. So every student gets the same um, nutritional requirements per USDA guidelines. So uh, that's something that we, we do that not pretty much anyone else out there does it. So one of the biggest complaints we get all the time from staff members is, hey, the pepperoni is all at the bottom of the case or all at the bottom of the bag and we have to reapply all the toppings. Uh, so we do that same process across all of our pizzas, uh, which is really unique. Uh, and it's been a great differentiator for us in the, in the marketplace against a lot of other pizzas that might be out there. Anytime we cut down on labor, make it easier on the staff, uh, as well as making sure the kids aren't fighting over toppings, that's the best thing that we can do. So let's try this one out now. So uh, which, which Nardone are you? Um, Mario's son. Mario's son, okay. What's your favorite part about being part of the family, being part of the company, what do you love? I like the free supply of pizza. <laughs> free supply of pizza. <laughs> this pizza is actually on a raw dough crust. So what is unique about it it is that it rises up as you cook it in the oven. And I'm sure you're tasting it right now as you're kind of biting through it, but something else that's really unique is that we do not only slice pepperoni on top of the pizza, we also do diced pepperoni underneath the cheese. So you get pepperoni on, on every bite. So that's really nice too. This is really, really good. If you had to rate this pizza, I mean, what, what would you guys say? Out of 10, yeah. you said? Out of 10. Out of 10? Yeah. Yes. No, hold up. Oh, wow, here we go. We, we got our own official ratings here, uh, here on our domes. Okay. All right, ready? ready. Please. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Hard to argue with that. So next pizza I'm going to show you is always a staple at all of our food shows right now. It's called the garlic French bread. And this is going to be a garlic French bread. It's a three by eight. So it is the largest French bread on the market right now. You size say the wise. largest? It is the largest. Yep. So okay. we like to meet all of the same nutritional requirements uh, set up per the USDA guideline. And if you notice, there's one consistent theme throughout all of our pizzas. We don't use any artificial flavorings, additives, colors, dyes. Uh, everything is always all natural. It's gonna have to be uh, that size in order to meet the nutritional requirements uh, for the USDA guidelines. So younger brother, what's your favorite part? Oh, caught you with your mouth full. <laughs> what's your favorite part about working here? Honestly, getting to see you know, the family atmosphere is something you don't, you don't see very often in other places. Yeah, that's great. So Vinny, is there anything else you wanna show me while we're here? You know, I'm glad you asked. There is one more thing. I was saving the best for last because we have a big surprise that we wanted to reveal to everyone. So was this a reveal? First time being seen. So this is actually brand new. You're gonna be the first people to see it right now. Um, we have a brand new label that we're launching. I'm getting my first taste here on First Taste TV. Your first taste on First Taste TV, wouldn't have it any other way. We've been working on this one for a long time and we're excited to be rolling this out nationally. Right now what you're gonna be trying is gonna be a 12 inch uh, par baked pizza with Supreme toppings on top of it. And then this is gonna be the brand new box that we're introducing as well too for all our self-rising line. 
So we're going to have uh, six total new pizzas coming out, three in the self-rising variety and three in the par bake. So we're going to have a four cheese, a supreme, a pepperoni in both. Um, so this is going to be in the, in the frozen section. And then we also have a brand new refrigerated line as well, too. So this is going to be brand new, 14-inch take and bake. So if you're looking for something a little bit bigger. Super excited about it, seeing it here first on First Taste TV. That's great. Thank you guys so much for having me here. Really appreciate it. Any last word you want to add before we go? I just want to thank everyone for coming out. Uh, thank you for coming and visiting our facility, and I uh, hope you enjoyed your time here, and we look forward to everyone viewing our products in the future. All right, thank you. We're here today with Nadine and Wyatt from Sun Butter. Tell everyone what you do for this wonderful company. I've been with Sun Butter for about eight years now, and I am their food service school person for the eastern half of the United States. Okay. What about you, Wyatt? I've been with Sun Butter for three years now, and I'm a marketing manager. A lot more on the retail side of things. Okay, so you guys do retail. That's great. Yeah, we have a whole variety of products here, but we keep it pretty simple. Uh, we stick to Sunflower butter. Mm -hmm. okay. It's our bread and butter. Awesome. Because uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. bread and butter. Because <laughs> right? we like to exactly. spread a little sun. sun yep. <laughs> what I love it. about that is that you guys aren't trying to be peanut butter. Sun butter is its own brand. It's naturally derived from sunflower seeds. And right. if I'm not mistaken, free of the top eight allergens. I buy this for my son because he goes to a nut-free school down in love it. Uh, for daycare. Love so it. I appreciate that. But there are a couple of different varieties that are available in retail that are not available in commercial. But go ahead and plug those for us. Yeah. We go anywhere from creamy to natural. Uh, if you're into no sugar, we have a no sugar added variety. And if you're into organic, we have an organic variety. The We're blue lid natural crunch to best. die for. Yeah. 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 It is probably the best. Some butter's in over 25,000 retail locations. Oh, wow. um, anywhere from local grocery stores to the more national brands. Mm -hmm. okay. You should be able to find at least one variety of some butter at your grocery store. So what are some of the more creative recipes that you guys have seen some butter be used for? Well, we have recipes on our site for years and years and years and years. There's probably about 300 recipes up oh, there wow. right now. Um, not so many on the food service site. We're working to beef that up, okay. but we've got you covered. We've got you covered everything from the very simple and elegant sun butter and jelly sandwich. Who could ask for anything Stable. more? Stable. Classic. Next to that is a sunberry crunch wrap. That wrap is a full lunch. It's two ounces of sun butter. It's got a half a cup of carrots. It's got two grains. It's good to go. And it's fantastic. A little bit of sriracha sauce for some kick. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. You can do pretty much anything with sun butter. And this okay. is plant-based protein. Plant-based, absolutely. Right. So totally if you have a trend. need for that yeah. besides being allergen-free. And that kind of snuck up on us. Mm. All of a sudden, we're all sitting around at the office one day going, everybody wants plant-based protein. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what are we thinking here? Also, as far as recipes, we've got this very cool recipe book here. This one's geared towards K-12, but we have a couple of other segments that have mm -hmm. some phenomenal recipes in there, including Amanda's favorite, which I was not able to bring with us, which was the sun butter Thai chicken pizza, which is absolutely That's a good one. Now, I heard a lot about that. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Can you, can you tell me some more? Really I, I want to hear it from you, not from Amanda. It's got this really cool Thai sauce made with sun butter and lime, mm -hmm. honey, soy sauce, mm -hmm. chicken, mm -hmm. roasted red peppers on it. It's it's really <laughs> quite good. I'm so sorry we couldn't uh, bring so it. So how do people find this cookbook? Is it available soft copy? So it is digital only. It's on our website, sunbutterfoodservice.com. And aside from all the recipes in there, as you can see from what we have spread here, we've got you covered for schools, whether you're doing plated mm -hmm. or grab and go, because mm -hmm. we all don't know what's coming this year. <laughs> And yeah. you can do it as a bento box. You can do it as a Thai dip with your chicken nuggets. Mm. You can do a breakfast to go box with fruit. Pretty much anything that you want to pair it with, it goes great with. Mm -hmm. Our newest thing is our sun butter pouches. Ooh. Okay, this is actually our natural, it? but it's really cool in a pouch because once you tear it, if you're using it for kids, even for adults, sometimes you have a hard time spreading. That's going to very nicely drizzle over the top of whatever you're putting it on, whether it be the apples or the um, pita bread, celery, anything you want to put it on is pretty cool. So what I'm seeing this as for me is in that bento box as that spreadable because that's what I get at a certain uh, hmm. certain place that I get my coffee at. But they always have, <laughs> yeah. you know, the incredible spreadable butter on there. So yep. that is a fantastic option for people. So tell us more, how do these translate into the collegiate and maybe into healthcare? 
So that's all very transferable. We have a huge number of colleges and universities that use the product, and they are very big on the pouch because it's so portable. And personally, I like it for traveling because TSA mm -hmm. doesn't care. They let it go through, you know? <laughs> yeah, it just yep. works. Um, but it's just it's very convenient. They use it in their convenience operations. They use it on their lines. They also do recipes. We have a recipe book digital as well that's directed directly to colleges and universities. Okay. Healthcare edition to be coming out soon. Oh, well, fantastic. Awesome. You know, we try and please everybody. Yeah. Awesome. What do you want Marlon to eat? Because yes. he is starving. I'm starving. Well, Always. you're starving. <laughs> I, I think Please I want you to something. see how you're going to drizzle. Okay. Okay. Ooh. So. Will you do my drizzle? I'm not drizzling. <laughs> yeah. Just will do your drizzle. <laughs> so. Knead and squeeze it first. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yes, knead and squeeze. Get it a little okay. warm with your little, hands. Yes, a little, little bit there. The other thing, though, that we definitely want to mention mm -hmm. is our seed to jar control over the product. Mm -hmm. So there you go. And it just squeezes oh, yeah. right out onto the apple, <laughs> onto the pita bread. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. All over. All right. And we even have napkins here. So I'm going to let you have the celery because I'm not a fan of celery. I don't I will eat, eat celery. Apples. Celery is not a real food. <laughs> you, might, you might with Grab some butter. Carrot. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You might <laughs> with know. some butter. I know. I might, yeah. I'm really eyeing this. So can you tell me more about this? Is this, a, is this an actual dip or is this just sun butter? That is an actual dip. It's okay. equal parts sun butter and vanilla yogurt. Tastes just oh. like, well, yes, lest I say it, peanut butter pie. Oh, sorry. Um, sun butter pie, you mean. Sun butter pie. <laughs> Sweet and salty with the pretzels and the apples, and it's a great dip. Oh, fantastic. And so this is, is what I'm is all dippable. about this. Because yeah. look at it. It has that kind of creamy, creamy. texture. You see that? Mm -hmm. So tell me, yeah. mm -hmm. how has the USDA separation made mm -hmm. you guys more pliable? I don't know that it's made us more pliable, but it's it's made us more focused on the quality of our brand and the seed to jar promise that we know that we are totally done in a peanut free facility. And we make that promise that you're never going to have to worry about that. Okay. And it just gives us some time to focus on creating things like the mm -hmm. pouch yeah. and, and that kind of thing. This yeah. is amazing. Can someone put this in my luggage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can send you the recipe. It's an easy one. If you go to a retail store, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to find us in the butter category next to the peanut butter, almond butter. We don't try and be peanut butter. We're not. Yeah, we right. are sunflower seed butter. And sunflower is behind us. That's where it starts. <laughs> and yeah. this is where it ends as a spread. So. Yeah. And to that point, I mean, we, we're produced in Fargo, North Dakota. That's where our headquarters is. We get our kernel, our sunflowers from North Dakota, Minnesota, South Dakota, the Midwest. And we take those sunflowers, harvest them. You'll see here it comes off in shell. Mm -hmm. We take it to our facility. And then we dry roast it. And then you have the actual seed here. Mm -hmm. And then that's where the magic happens. And we turn that into butter. So it's really from seed to jar control. By doing that, we are able to make sure the facility stays peanut free and no chance of cross contamination. So okay. important with allergens being so prevalent and mm -hmm. people even having airborne allergies, which are just frightening. So this yes. is a great alternative for those kitchens that need to be very cognizant of that. So right. thank you. One of the other things though is very high in protein. It's that whole plant mm -hmm. protein yes. thing that we kind of missed. And our micronutrients are actually just a tad healthier mm -hmm. than yep. some of our competitive products. We've got lots of iron, zinc, manganese, magnesium. So if you're someone who's looking for a very healthy option, Sun Butter has it covered. Lots and vitamin, vitamin E, e which is and so e. important yeah. Yeah. to people. And selenium, there you go. Who there knew? <laughs> what is selenium? <laughs> yeah, well, and then there's that. It's important, apparently. <laughs> it is important. But I just want to say one more thing about a couple of recipes here. Sun butter parfait. Okay, sun butter. It's actually made with the sun butter dip with extra sun butter, a little extra yogurt, fruit, granola, fully reimbursable lunch. Wow. Overnight sun butter oats Ooh. in that one. So breakfast or lunch, because it's got, it's got you covered. There's just so many ways you can use it. I don't understand why somebody wouldn't. Completely oh. on trend, the overnight oats. Excellent. Mm -hmm. If you yeah. had to trick one, which would be your, your favorite? <gasps> My favorite, the Sunberry Crunch Wrap. I don't okay. even have to think about that. Really? Okay. Yeah, it's I really mean, good. When I make it at home, I, toss, I actually toss the carrots in the sriracha sauce, because I like it. Yeah, I, I have to agree with Nadine on that, because I was skeptical right away when I looked yeah. at that. I was like, ah, it's, you know, I don't know, carrots, cranberries, <laughs> sriracha, yeah. spinach, but it's good. I mean, we made them in the office one day, and I ate it for a week straight. Really? Because it's, oh, wow. it's a great, it's yeah. versatile, and just easy to make. And yeah. It really tastes good. Nadine, quiet. Thank you so much for coming. You shared some incredible recipes, and I am totally picking up crunchy sun butter next time I'm in the store, for sure. For all our viewers, go to firsttastetv.com, click on the sun butter channel for more information.
And be sure to check us out next time on First Taste TV. Bye.